Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me for work and this was an actual get ready with me. I'm actually getting ready for work as we speak or at least you're watching this video. I didn't not doing the editing on the day of work, but you know, but anyways, I was filming this actually to get ready for work. So the background's a mess. My closet isn't closed. It's not really a professional video, but it was more of a sit down casual video, which I really like and I'm obviously jamming out to music. But anyways, I'm just taking my beauty sponge and applying my CoverGirl foundation to my face and anywhere that I need it. So I'm just applying it like under my eyes and anywhere that I need it on my face. Now I'm just taking my Wet n Wild concealer and I couldn't find my Maybelline Age Rewind concealer which I just posted in my last video which was my flawless foundation routine. You guys can just watch that video for a full in-depth thing. But I couldn't find it, so I just used this because it's the best thing I had left. And then after that, I just blend it out with a beauty sponge. So I usually apply this to anywhere, any concealing areas, which are usually my under eyes, my eyelids, my nose, pubis bow, and chin. Now I'm just taking an eyeshadow brush in a banana powder by NYX and applying it underneath my eye. And I love setting my concealer with this. I talked about it in my flawless foundation routine. This is my favorite thing to set with. And I didn't use the Anastasia one, obviously, because that one's super expensive and no need to. The NYX one works just as well. I don't know, I've never tried the Anastasia one, so don't mark me my words on that, but, you know. So I'm just applying that underneath my eyes to the bridge of my nose, and down to my cupid's bow, and chin. And then after that, I'm just going to start by applying my bronzer on my cheekbones, my temples, and forehead area. And when I'm applying my bronzer, I just apply it really messily and then just blend it out with a fluffy brush afterwards to make it all look more natural as possible. But right now, I'm just applying it really sloppy and then... Just kind of applying it anywhere. Like I said, you can check out my all like my flawless foundation routine to check out the full in-depth tutorial. But I'm just going through this really fast because it is a get ready with me and not really a tutorial, I guess. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But you guys can just sit and watch. Now I'm just taking my Anastasia Brow Pompade. I always say that wrong and I'm sorry, I just can't say it right and I'm just filling in my eyebrows like I am doing so. I have a brow routine but that one's really old. I'm gonna do an updated one as soon as I dye my hair back to blonde because I can't stand it. As you can tell my blonde roots are horrible. I'm tired of dyeing it so often. Blonde at least looks, ugh, looks a lot more natural. So I'm just filling in my eyebrows like so and just blending them out with a spoolie. To prepare my eyes for eyeshadow I'm just taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion and just applying it to my eyelids and blending that out with my finger and then next I'm going to be taking my revealed palette by Coastal Scents and applying the one dark shade that's in it. it's like really a matte color and just applying it to my crease and blending that out Of course, when I'm filming, my mom comes in to ask for a makeup product, so I give that to her. And then after that, I'm just going to be taking my eyeliner and just eyeing, eyelining the top lash line. And this is a gel eyeliner by MAC and just lining the top lash line. And to finish it off, I'm just taking my eyelash curler and curling my eyelashes and then applying my CoverGirl cl ugh, Clump Crusher Mascara, which is my favorite mascara of all times. If you've been watching my videos, it's been like the mascara I've been using for months. Applying it to my top and bottom eyelash line. And that is pretty much the entire tutorial or get ready with me. And make sure you guys leave some comments down below. And I'm also going to be uploading a vlog on my vlog channel, which is going to be me meeting Bethany Mona. So make sure you guys go check that out. A link will be down below to my vlog channel and I'll have that posted within the next day or so. So make sure you guys check out that. So I hope you guys like the little jam out session. But that is to finish uh, the rest of the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And leave some requests down below if you guys want some more videos. And I will make sure to do them. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.